Ah, uh, uh, dream. Let me tell y'all. We're all in little white and black. Cookies. How did he freestyle the white? We're getting how, one room together. How did he freestyle the white? called in orgy. How did he freestyle the white dream? Whoa. Nah, I had a dream. How did he freestyle this? <laughs> how did he freestyle the white dream? Nah, I had a dream. Really? Really? That all the little coochies are gonna get together. All the coochies gonna come together. All the coochies. <laughs> coochies far and wide gonna come together. My black brothers, my you need that experience. This white coochie. Bless what coochie. happened. He said, my one, my black brother. Brothers, you gotta come see me. <laughs> <laughs> you got a spell on me. Can you tell me? Okay, Hey, you know who remixed that song, though? You know who remixed that song? I'm coming. Little bitch wanna ride it. Little bitch gonna get on her body. Get right beside it. Hello, hello, hello. This bitch making me feel erotic. Two of them in this rocket. And the grandma related to the whiteness. Got ooh, you got rice. You a church girl, you like Christ. Hey, we sound like bro right now. I'm perk. I'm perk. Go to work. What? Go to work that. Hey, hey, hey. She wanna see me do my dance. See me thousand dollar pants. Don't respect me and my man. We got enough walk right here to start a pharmacist. They say the shit I dropped at E Crib was the hardest. We can do a little bullshit beforehand and then I'm gonna start it in like five minutes. That boy is scratching his head real hard. He gotta take them down because he know they itch. That I need some oil in my head. Real he needs some oil on his head. Oil in my head. God damn, I need some oil in my head. What? Bitch. I need some oil in my head. What? Bitch. Cause I'm patting like a dot bitch. Ooh. Cause I'm patting like a dot bitch. Ooh. And then we searching for your out bitch. Ooh. I'm sucking on my cop bitch. Ooh. Thanks to make a stop watch bitch. Ooh. Don't make it drop, bitch. Ooh. Before I hit you with this Glock, bitch. Ooh. Ooh. And I'm not gonna know when to stop, bitch. <laughs> like, I don't know when to quit doing it. Like, like, this is gonna keep happening. It's gonna keep going and going. And, 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 and then when it drop, we're gonna re and low, and it's gonna keep going and, and going, going and, and going. going. And then you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna spin the block like a rail go around because we're gonna go back and get work. We're gonna go again and again and again. We really gonna spin your block like a Beyblade. Like, the block is gonna turn around. We're gonna, my nigga, say, he gon' pull out the hammers on you niggas. <laughs> <laughs> he said he gon' pull out the hammers on you niggas. <laughs> that nigga said, I seen two niggas. My, me and my mans. He said, I pulled two hammers, nigga. <laughs> he said, I said, shit, nigga, I'm done. <laughs> Psych. See, but then my other man, he said, but I put the nigga in the full Nelson. <laughs> 
I'm and I was like, that nigga swung him. That nigga was like, these niggas. Like, Nigga, he dropped, dropped his whole shit off, nigga. I'm like, Lincoln, nigga. You should have seen I'm like, nigga, what? I'm like, don't cuff them. My nigga Deshaun Ross said, he said, boop, bop, bada, beep, bop, bop, boop. Damn. Bada, boom. Pow. My nigga, then my nigga leaked it. Oh! <laughs> nigga, that shit was hot. Was Viral school. mean until this day. Sweet dollar tea from McDonald's. Mm. I drink that. Yeah. <laughs> I broke up with my girl. Here's a number. Psych! Psych. It's the, the wrong, wrong number. number. Oh! <laughs> nigga, that shit was hit. Hey, that nigga face. He had that the car. He had the Carlito face. Nigga, he had no, that was the original nigga had the Carlito mm -hmm. face. Besides mm -hmm. Carlito, no kids yeah. for real. It's no. That nigga made a song called Gas Money, bitch. Nigga, I was like, oh, <laughs> need that gas money. He's like, remember my nigga Fifty Tyson? Hell yeah, back black and blue all day, every day. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Nigga, what? Yeah. And it goes in there. He was in the camera with that. In the room that movie, the camera. Yeah. Last year I was I 16. Me. I'm, I'm big, but I'm still small. Man. Last year I was 16. <laughs> I like Mike Tyson. This year I'm. That's why I'm 50 Tyson. Black and blue all day, every day. Yeah, I'm 50 Tyson. Mm -hmm. Last year I was 16. Next year I'm finna be 17. Remix. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Remix. Yeah. He said I'm finna be. Remix. He <laughs> said, "What?" That's crazy. We had a lot. And of with that shit. being said, welcome back to the Hardest Podcast. It's your boy D White. I'm here with my boy B, my boy K. Hey. We in this thing. You already know what it is. Right now, we are reminiscing on somewhat of our childhood. Some, somewhat of us just growing up. You know what I'm saying? We was. Wait, for the time, wait, pause, 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 Mr. D. White. Nigga, Excuse us. Can, can, uh, no, nah, can, uh, for the time being, I'm gonna be two cups and he gonna be, uh, tattoo man. Oh, that's what you. <laughs> 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 I got a dead face, nigga. I was. Nigga, I just want y'all to know. Mm -hmm. If you haven't noticed, I'm about to put a meme in here so you can see who this man really is. Uh huh. Yeah, Same that's him. Man. So, yeah. uh, yeah, they, they, he, 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 he missed the two cups. He tattoo man and I'm 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 myself. But it's cool though, you know what I'm saying? I'm I bet y'all can't guess what's in each cup. Oh and I bet y'all can't guess which in which cup. I bet you're gonna be able to tell by the end of the episode. Oh yes, Zersky. But no, like I was saying, man, we were just reminiscing back on our younger days when we was growing up, when we was children, you know what I'm saying, talking about the difference between the kids growing up today compared to the kids growing up, well, when we grew up, you know what I'm saying? Early 2000s, late 90s, you feel me? Even the early 10s, because we had stuff on YouTube, we had yeah. stuff on Disney Channel, we had great content as children, you feel me? And the kids today got um, Baby Shark. I used to get on YouTube and type in Big Booty Bitches. <laughs> big Booty Bitches, Big Booty Bitches, what? Big booty bitches, big, big, nigga. I didn't get on there and type in big booty bitches, but I did type in ass on the internet. See, I don't know. It was that one white dude back in the day who had all the nasty ass songs called, like, Show Me Your Genitals. That nigga was like, You remember that nigga? That nigga. It was the I Kill People nigga. It was like, Guns Kill People. I Kill People. Hey, what? Did y'all just listen to my nigga, you weird ass joker bitch? That was my dog. Weird Al, that nigga Weird Al. I didn't listen to Weird Al, but I did like, listen what? to Lonely Island. Weird Al had a Lonely Island was my shit. Dang, no, that was going crazy. Twelve years ago. Everybody seen this nigga, bro. This nigga was. Show me your genitals, and I don't respect them. That's right. I just had sex with them. Show me your genitals. Genitals. <laughs> <laughs> Show me your genitals. <laughs> That nigga said, now you're talking about other stuff. Why? I much rather see your titties. <laughs> I can't have sex with your personality. Bro, look at him, bro. And I can't shove my penis in your college degree. And I can't shove my titties in your childhood dream. So why are you sharing all this information with me? It's not sex because we saying it in a song. That's right, bitch. Now take off your thong, bitch. Show me your genitals. Bro, this nigga is the dance floor, bro. Every word, word for word, bar for bar. This stuff with me as a kid, nigga. Bro, this nigga is the dance floor, bro. Every word, word for word, bar for bar. Bro, this nigga is the dance floor, bro. Every word, word for word, bar for bar. Bro, this nigga is the dance floor, bro. Every word, word for word, bar for bar. Bro, this nigga is
This is the type of <laughs> this is the type of stuff that influenced Bryce growing up. This show me your shit, bro. Nigga, what? Bro, do you see his fits? <laughs> I know his fit is absolutely atrocious. Dog, do you see the fit? That is can you can find that in the thrift store today. Do you see the thin black belt holding up cents. the dang on? He got on Docker shorts with a dang on goofy goop shirt. Motherfucking button. Bro, that's not even Dr. Shorts. Those niggas made a remix to that bitch, nigga. Hold on, what this nigga said? Why did my penis cross the road? To get to the other vagina. <laughs> 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 Look at this nigga said, Why did my penis cross the road? To get to the Eagles, MC Machida. <laughs> bro, we was in class talking emotion off this, bro. We was reciting the words in class. Nigga, I got to spend more time singing that bitch. <laughs> 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 Does it influence you as a bro, child? Hell yeah. Does it influence you as a young man? Probably why I'm a freak. Nah, nigga, they said, that nigga said, why did my penis cross the road? To get to the other one. <laughs> to get to the other one. Nigga said, what? Rich told you, Rich told no, because he was. <laughs> He said, he didn't tell you that. That nigga said, what? We was in class, bro, singing that shit. All that, to, <laughs> all that to say, when we was growing up, we had better content. Now, may it not have been no. appropriate? That's Definitely. <laughs> I came in with the like, you know, the idea like, you know, we had like, you know, good Disney movies, you yeah. know, outside games, yeah, you know, yeah. you know, stuff like that. Like, yeah. we did more like kid oriented stuff, like, you know, riding bikes, right. going to sport. Right. Right. He came with show me your genitals. So okay. I was like, I'm like, yeah, what? that's what I'm like. Hey, I think elementary school singing at that. This nigga's been the same way his whole life. Cause what I, was what I'm 20, I was a man. That's when I seen that shit when it first came out. You was a man. It said 13 years. That nigga was 10. He was in the crowd. That nigga first started cussing. He was like, I like this. He was like, show me your genitals. Show me your genitals. Show me your genitals. We was listening to YouTube at that time. That's when YouTube was on all of the stuff. Bro. Now, what I was listening to on YouTube when I was younger, well, not even listening to necessarily watching, I was watching stuff like uh, me and Bryce earlier was talking about my boy Kevin Edwards Jr. Kevin Edwards Jr. Watching stuff like Dorm Tainment, mm -hmm, uh, Hot right. Damn I Rock, Hot Damn shit. I Rock, uh, uh, Spoken Reasons, Why not shit? Uh, Delano my TV, the Lano TV, the Lano TV. was something wrong with that man. He, he, he took that bitch kidneys on the court. He oh, took that. Give me your kids. He said, bitch, if you lose, you gotta give me your kids. My dick touched the water. Who else? Yeah, no, no. Hey, in Dorm Tainment, he talking about that song? Splash. My dick touched the water. Bitch, my dick touched the water. My dick touched the water. Okay. Dorm Tainment got bangers. You know what I'm saying? They had that. They had ass on the internet. Shake that ass on the internet. Don't, 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 don't. I don't shake it. I don't shake it. Mine, I'm not a rocker. Now I'm never pause for that turkey drop. Yeah, yeah. OG, if you was watching YouTube in the early 2010s, late 2000s, Boy, hey, hey, you hey, know. Hey, because that was the most ass we seen in one selection of bad bitch. Talking about, bad talking bad about YouTube, bitches. YouTube, yeah, yeah I'm gonna say, like, what, when Miss Twerk and them hit the internet? Oh, Miss Twerk and Lady, Lady Luscious, nigga, and Lady Luscious, nigga. Oh, Lady Luscious, nigga. Lady Luscious, nigga. Lady Luscious and them was going crazy. You remember when you yeah. first seen Miss Twerk They was in the English. Do y'all remember where y'all was at when y'all first seen Mr. Wilson? I think I was. I was. Like, I was watching the flock or Travis Porter, like Travis going off Porter. When I first heard, Travis when I first Porter. found out about it, I remember she was dancing to was the it no hands. No, she was dancing to the uh to the uh to oh, the all the way tired up. Uh -uh. No, uh. -uh. Uh uh, to, yep, she was dancing to that track. That's, that's all, uh, little, Travis Porter. all these little sugar hoes want this K. Yeah, she was dancing to that boy. She was going nuts. I said, Baby, I want to dance to Twerk song. <laughs> Everybody was like, Miss Twerk song. We was on Miss Twerk song. 40 some years old, still doing the same thing like she is 20. Probably. That's no kids. move, too. Like she 20. <laughs> now, to get off of our managed ways, we was talking about yeah, cartoons. Like and, and, and Nickelodeon and Disney Channel, even though the people that was on Nickelodeon and Disney Channel probably moved on to do some of the things that we're talking about right now. We're not talking about that right now. We're talking about how good the content was back when we were younger. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what we have, what was, what was 
Give me three of your favorite shows, Nickelodeon or Disney or Cartoon Network, growing up. Can I do Boomerang too? Go ahead. Ooh, uh, let me go. Who, who started with? I brought it up and I ain't thinking nothing, it, but I'm going to start. Oh, you going to do your thing. I'm going to start. Mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, start with That's So Raven. Right. Only because as a young lad, I was the one black friend with the mixed black girl and the white girl in my friend group. So we mm -hmm. thought we was Eddie, Raven, and uh, what's her name? Kelsey? Mm -hmm. Kelsey. Chelsea. Chelsea. Yeah. Chelsea. One of them. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to start with That's So Raven, Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon. Oh, no, no, no. American Dragon, Jack Long, that, sh that show gets slept on. That was one of my that was joints. That my pick anyway. Uh, uh, my bad. It was shit. That was one of my joints cool. when I was I younger. Mm -hmm. And really then uh, shit, yeah. to round out the top three, we're going to throw it all the way back because I know somebody else going to say it, so I'm going to stay over there. It's all of that because it was oh, it God. was, it was yeah. all of that. No yeah. cap. Yeah, theme song hey, still, hey, 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 still hold on, hard. Hold on. Hold on. Shout out, shout out no, to zoom in on my face right now because I got something to say to somebody. My cousin, when we was young, I don't know how old we was. We was probably like eight or nine. Right. Went to Universal Studios. Y'all know y'all know how you used to have a show where they had like go around the crowd and like bring random kids down and slime them and all that, ask them a question, they got a wrong name slime. Uh -huh. We at the show. Right. I'm I've been taught my whole life, built like a baby giraffe my whole life until I became a big giraffe. So I'm sitting right. behind a grown man. I can see over the grown man head because I'm a grown little man. <laughs> my cousin, no 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 no. I was sitting on the other side. My cousin was sitting behind the, uh, the grown man, you know what I'm saying? So he couldn't see, he like, can you switch me? They, my, my mama and my auntie like, Marco switch with him, woody woody woo. You know what I'm saying? He can't see, you tall, you'll be able to see. I'm like, all right, it is what it is. Guess what happened? It is. The lights go around, yeah. it's time for somebody to get slime. And guess what seat got picked? The one you gave to him? The fucking seat that I gave to my cousin. So now, my whole rest of my life, until one of us pass away, it's beef. It's up there, and it's gonna forever be stuck there. Cause you took my chance to get slime. Not looking back on it, I probably wouldn't want to get slime. It's like thinking about like, man, I, I still want to get slime, slime, slime. You know? I like that's like a childhood dream. I would like, like, like for it to be called something go, else. Go on that bitch and get slime. That's like that's like, that's like the trade here. That's like you got on a giant slime. Yeah. Like, where you had to get on a giant but slime. No, but no, listen though. Without the without the without the carpet. It's it's you It's just this. It's the fact that. It was on national television. Like that show was like that. It was real TV. Like what we used to see. You know the show they used to have uh, Aztec mm -hmm. Mountain. And they used to. Oh, go, yeah, yeah. I seen all that. Like yeah. it was real TV, and he was on real TV getting slime. But it was supposed to be me. I was supposed to be a star since a young age. This nigga took my shot, man. Fuck that nigga. I'm like you though. But fuck you, nigga. Damn, Malik. Nah, fuck Malik. Let somebody else go. I'm gonna say that nigga chance to get slimed on. Okay, nigga, okay, okay. Let's see. Star. Slime season for Disney. For Disney. Since, since he season. took since he took my American Dragon Jake along. For Disney, I'ma go. I'ma go. Uh, I'ma go. Power Family. You can't go wrong. With the Damn, Power Family. what's wrong with me? I'm sorry. So we gotta, gotta do. So we gotta do one Disney, one Nick. No, you can do whatever you. But I'm doing one for. I'm doing okay. one for Disney. For Cartoon Network, I'm going. I'm, I'm going. I'm, I'm going OG. I'm gonna have to. It's a toss up between Kids Next Door and probably and probably and probably. Probably, probably like Total Courage. Drama Island, like Courage or some shit. Total Drama Island. Ooh, or Chowder. Hey, Chowder. I ain't gonna lie, Courage Cowardly Ooh. Dog really. Uh, Chowder. Uh, Chowder was. I was a shit. scary ass little kid. Well, Courage uh, really rider, scared rider. me as a kid. Rider, rider, rider. But uh, then, then for Foster's Nickelodeon. Foster's home for imaginary friends. Foster. Uh, no, I don't want to talk about that. Then for you want to, because we gonna say you look like that one nigga. Oh, you might. Nigga, that nigga Slim. His name was Will. My nigga Will. Slim. My nigga Will. My nigga Will. Fuck you, nigga. You look like, uh, you look like the blue shit. Yeah, like boy, blue. your ass. <laughs> <laughs> and that's our new meme, nigga. Fuck Apple Jackson Cinnamon, nigga. We blue, blue. That was your top three? No, you said like five shows. No, and then, I did. We just got to talking about shit. Then, for, uh, for, for Nickelodeon, I'm going to have to go. Why? Why the kid in me really want to go Danny Phantom? Cause I love Danny Phantom. I love. I was gonna say that, but I from the from the heart and from the and from the waking up in the morning, I'm gonna have to go Rocket Power. Ooh, Ooh, Rocket Power. Oh, hey, shout out my nigga Otto, man. That's like, bro, that was Ray Sherman. Bro. Ray Sherman had a TV Otto. show for even knew they had a TV show. Yes, bro. sir. Yeah, yeah. Rocket Ray Power was one of my joints. I'm glad we had this conversation because I didn't even think about a couple of those, and that was my like, shit. So what's your What's your top three, uh, Bryce? So I'm gonna have to say from uh, Total Drama Island. That was one of my joints. I'll have to say Keenan and Kale. Okay. Definitely a classic. And then surrounded out. Ooh. 
I had to round it out, and I had to choose one. Jimmy Neutron. Jimmy Neutron. Mm -hmm. Definitely a classic. A Jimmy good classic. I'm gonna give a couple honorable mentions. Y'all can throw some honorable we, mentions in no. there too. Can we do? Can we? Can we each pick a a, a, a label and then we do the honorable mentions for them? No, I ain't someone? gonna remember them all by label. I ain't gonna lie. I know. I know my memory. I just know I was gonna throw recess out there because I used to. That's be my that's shit. Disney. You could have took Disney. Yeah, yeah I ain't know. It was Disney. I thought that was uh, Cartoon Network. Oh, see, see, I ain't know. I was about to get busy. All right, so I'll take Disney because I hey, I know Disney the best. Hey Arnold. You gonna take you gonna take Nickelodeon? I got Cartoon Network. V Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Mm. Uh, we gonna go. Uh, me personally, Lizzie McGuire was kind of cool at the time. Okay. At okay. the time, kind of cool. Uh -huh. Also, Phil of the Future was kind of cool at the time. Phil of the Future. Kind of cool. Ben, ben Ten. I'm doing Ben Ten in there. The original Sweet ben Life and Zack and Cody. Yep. Sweet Life. Maybe definitely. Yeah, definitely. definitely. What else can I throw in there? What else was the show that was? Hey, all the Disney movies. Used to go dummy. Disney movies. Dummy. Disney had the best original movies. Dummy. Bro. The best original movies. What's, hey. what's your top three original movies from Disney? Uh, uh, all the Halloween ones. Uh, yeah, all the Halloween time. All the Halloween time. Halloween time. So y'all going Halloween edition? What other Disney Oh, wait, Halloween edition. Halloween edition. Yeah, 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 Halloween what? No, I thought he was a fucking merman. Like, Listen come on, though, man. high school That's musical. True. Hey, yeah, high I'm, gonna give, I'm gonna give y'all a vulnerable That's moment. Brutal. I'm gonna give y'all a vulnerable high moment. I'm gonna wasn't bring you inside of my heart. First time I ever watched High School Musical, I was in my house by myself. It was a big premiere. Everybody knew. Everybody what was watched. Hey, swear God. Hey, 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 listen. I'm in the living room God, with bro. it blasting. These niggas started singing. And I'm all. We all in this together. I feel like did we was all in this together. Like, Mm, hey, no cap, I'm standing up. <laughs> I'm standing up, dancing oh, while it's on. Crying. Oh, my God. Like, we all in this together for real. Like, we in it together. I swear to God, I was crying. I don't hey, know why I was. Not. Doing the dance routine with tears falling down my eyes, singing. That's you know, what everybody that's... thought high school was going to be like. Right. Oh, my God. 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 High school was like, like, like that. Disney lied. We don't know that we're going to be in high school. It's about to be just like the music. But you know what's like, damn, why these niggas can say? That was one thing niggas was looking for. It came like, nigga, Friday night from here on Disney, nigga, 8 o'clock, bro. I done got home. I done showered. I done got dinner. I'm in the bed. I'm going to watch my TV, bro. Leave me alone. I'm watching my movie, 8 o'clock. I'm watching my movie, bro. I was I was young. My pops got mad at me because I was in bed. With my arms behind my head, legs crossed like I own the place. That nigga was like, nigga, you don't own shit. Turn my TV off. I'm like, nigga, what you want? Like, I'm relaxing. Like, I'm cool right now. What hey, you? chill. Nigga, you don't pay no bills in here. Nigga, I, that's your fault. You I ain't asked you to nut me and. Yeah. When they say you relaxing too hard. <laughs> too damn hard. Yeah, that's exactly what he said. I'm relaxing too hard. I think he probably told you that story before. No cut. Probably. You, you, you ain't relaxing too goddamn hard on my shit. The hell wrong? You ain't do no work wrong this motherfucker. What else Disney movies? She got the nerve. Hey, hanging on my shit. Like, Wendy Wu was okay. Hey, Wendy Wu. Hey, Mulan. Mulan. That wasn't, that was. You doing cartoon Disney? Disney? You can't tell me y'all ain't watch the Cheetah Girls first. Cartoon one, Disney. Cheetah Girls. Hey, you know what? I do. Cheetah Girls is fire. Cheetah Girls is fire. Oh, Cheetah Cheetah Girls 2 was fire. When they went overseas, Cheetah Girls were fire. And when they went to Italy, it was fire. Singing in Spanish, I said, Adrian Bailon. That's what I said. Yeah, love about me in Spanish. Hey, a little light skinned chick. Ooh, I was like, man, Adrian, I need me a little Adrian. I was like, no, you even know. Yes, sir. For real. Yes, sir. So, you know what I'm saying? That's just a quick look back. And if you're a 90s baby, I would assume so. If you're watching us, I would assume that you're not a baby guppy's kid or a baby shark go do 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 do. I would assume that you're not one of them. Nigga talk, I can edit it out. Yo gabba gabba. Yo gabba gabba. Yo gabba gabba kid. You know what I'm saying? All the all the current day things. I was assuming you know what it is. Yeah, I had all of the bitches. I was spoiled a little nigga. I had all the Game Boys. I had all the Game Boys. I still got all the Game Boys. All the BS's. I got the Game Boy. From the fat bitch to the dick, the slim bitch. I had a PSP. I got my first one, the slim, and I had to be it. <laughs> oh God! Real? I, my stupid ass trying to be below the desk with my PSP. My sound on whole time. Be, being stupid, trying to play basketball, like trying to play NBA live on See, my PSP. Crazy part, I had a, I had a teacher to where she made rules with us. Like my elementary school fourth and fifth grade teacher, because mm -hmm. they she piggied off because they were two black ladies. They piggied off each other when we was at Einstein at Oak Park. 
she was like, all right, y'all can be on your PSP, but y'all got to maintain a beer better to even have that bitch out if you don't. When I'm taking that's that That's gangsta. See, I went to a white school, that's what so they wasn't jacking that. Bro. Bro, she's like, as long as you got to be, whenever it's recess or y'all got free time after you done with all your work and you got to prove it to me that you done. I was going to say, like, yeah. Then you pull that bitch out. And not even, not, you can be open with it. See, you I was never that hide. smart of a kid to get work with. See, I was the kid that, like, I wouldn't get done with my work. Like, I get a good grade yeah. eventually, but, like, I'm going to have to take it home and do homework. But when everybody else start getting done, I feel stupid. So like I act like I'm done with my work just so I can start doing other stuff. When everybody else started doing other stuff, I was a nigga doing my homework at the bus stop and then and at breakfast time. So yeah. I was like the first so the first hour of, like, first hour of school when ain't shit happened. That's when I'm doing all my work. That makes sense. It was depending on the day. I could have been a nigga that was done the first ten minutes and then just let everybody copy. And then I could have been a nigga that just copied at the end of class. And mm -hmm. I could have been a nigga that just didn't do nothing that day at all and just didn't care. Now that was me. So and was that was me. You could ask me copy. Like shit, nigga, I'm still doing my shit so right now. So how did y'all go uh, go about homework in high school? Because I know I me, I was doing homework in the morning. Right before class, at the beginning of the class, right before oh, we turn homework. I, 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 I had to be in my coach class doing homework because my coach was a safe haven, so I'd go to coach class and just do all my work in his class and then just be like, yeah, I was with my coach here, but I was doing your work for real, so he wouldn't be tripping because he knew he needed niggas to play. Yeah. So he was like, fuck it, I'm not going to just let y'all fail. So. And I knew that I, I went to the, school, the high school that I finished my high school at was a private school, so it was the work was way harder than the public school I had just came from, and I knew what I was there for. I was there to hoop, you know what I'm saying? So I'm getting work from everybody. I learned some stuff, but I ain't learned that much stuff. But I did the work, so it looked like I learned. But, I, you know, sometimes you got to finesse. Learned. That's what I learned how to do, yeah. finesse. Finesse your way and to get to your goal, you know what I'm saying? And that's really that's, that's really a big I ain't never like, I ain't never, I ain't never, I ain't never studied, I ain't never did homework when I was supposed to consistently. Like in school, I was not a consistent nigga. But as long as you But I still maintain, nigga. I maintain over a 2.5 the whole time. I didn't do no homework. I did homework 9th and 10th grade, 11th and 12th And I never studied and did homework. Unless it was a paper. I do let, unless it was a teacher, let a teacher be, where you could turn in late assignments whenever you wanted to. I barely did work. What the fuck are you talking about? I was the kid I'm in doing class. that the last semester, the last two, two, three days where she said you can, you got, you got till to turn that all up in this shit in. Yeah, I, that was me. No, it's not do shit all semester, but the last three days I'm coming with like fifty-seven assignments at one time. Oh God, that was me, man. That was, that's the reason I got kicked out of college, girl. I thought the teachers in college was gonna be the same way as the teachers in high school. And gonna let me turn my shit in on last day. She was like, no, we can't turn this in anymore. The the car market is in. Like, bitch, nigga, I'm gonna have to move back to Detroit if I don't get this in. Yeah. I tried to give her the whole South story. I'm gonna have to move back to Detroit, back to the hood, to the ghetto. I ain't living in the ghetto, but I tried to make it seem like to the ghetto, I had to know, move back to the ghetto streets of Detroit if I don't get this assignment in. She was like, I ain't nothing I can do about it, big dog. I'm like, damn. It's policy. They gonna hit you with this policy real man, quick. Yeah, bro. Well, I let you do it. I let everybody do it. That shit hurt my heart. All right, so where was you at? I was in Great Bend, Kansas, at the Great College, Barton Community College, the home of the Cougars. It smells like doodle -doo there. But you meet, you meet good. That literally was the sound that they used to play before the games, bro. I swear to God. But you sound like y'all about to get y'all ass whooped with that. Noise. We were sweet, though. We were sweet. When I was in college, my team was number 16 in the nation for uh, junior colleges. You know what I'm saying? Okay. We, yeah, we was nice. We had uh, we okay. had two All Americans on the team and everything. A lot of people went D one, all that type of stuff. Oh, stupid monkey! <laughs> hey, what show? That was at the end of what show? Robot chicken. Robot chicken. Yeah. <laughs> stupid monkey. But to move on to current times, you know what I'm saying? That was just a little blast from the past, just like the monkey over there Man. with the one eye. I'm about to go watch Robot Chicken. That shit would be funny as hell. He's mad because I'm one in inner peace and tranquility. It's okay. Trans one in inner peace and tranquility. No, I ain't say tranquility. What you say? I actually did. You see how I mean? You said tranquility. He be coming for you. He be coming for you. He said tranquility, like, nigga. You got a little oh, demon right. inside of you, nigga. He tried to be peaceful, but got some demon in him. Tranquility. Oh. Don't worry about what's inside me. You, you, you worry about business. I ain't got nothing to do with you, big fella. Don't do that. You and my business. I don't want to know nothing about what's inside you, big dog. She don't, know, she, don't, about it. she don't know I'm fighting demons. Ain't that what Brent said? She don't know I'm fighting demons. She don't care that I'm fighting demons. That really what the problem be. We ain't gonna talk about it. That she ain't really the she problem. She don't care I'm gonna fight them demons. Tell a girl you fighting demons. She's like, oh, this is so cute. It's like, bitch. That's what they be, <laughs> that's what they be saying to y'all? Oh, that's cute? Not for real. Bitches be turned on by that demon shit. When I be really going through shit, that's when they want to get a nigga at lowest. Nigga. Hoes love niggas at their lowest point. Nigga. Nigga. Well, I feel like I had, we all. I had two people with me on Sunday. They don't really be with me normally, but they was with me all day Sunday. And they seen what my phone would do on a daily basis. They was like, bro, this is the most weirdest shit ever. I said, bro, yes. 
Yeah, uh, we, by the way, if you are a consistent uh, viewer of the show, then you know that we're probably, well, actually, you don't know, but I'm telling you that we upload, no, not that we upload, I'm telling you that we're recording a day after we usually record. We usually record on Sundays, but today is Monday, because my boy Kaylin, sometimes life get like that, but it get like that with all of us. It's not just him, but you know yeah, what I'm saying? That's just how his Sunday went, you feel me? You know what the problem is? All my friends feel like I shouldn't have other friends. They feel like I should be their only friend. And you know what their problem is? They get mad when I tell them I have other friends to do other stuff with. And they be like, well, fuck them. They not me. And they be like, bro, no, chill, fuck you. And then they be mad when I try to, they be like, bro, why do y'all just be so, like, everybody be so aggressive and so, Brand like, be getting jealous and shit. I, they just be so aggressive example. and, like, so, like, nigga, I just want you all to myself. And, like, everybody do that. And I be looking at them like, bro, what I got the on, opposite bro? issue. Because I, me, I mix friend groups sometimes, but, like, not all the time. But, like, my friends be like, all right, why didn't you bring me here? Why didn't you bring me there? And I was like, I was with these homies. You feel me? And just like. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. I don't know. Because I don't know if I can mix all my friend groups because I know I got I a lot of different people with a lot of different personalities. You know I know friends. you can't. I can't. I can't, mix, sure not, can. I can't mix not one. No. I got like, I got like, I got like water and oil with peanut butter and then like <laughs> gasoline and then like hair jam and then I got some liquor here. Yeah, you, some, you a smart some man soap. for figuring out all them different items with that all don't the different, yeah, oh, that's going to be on different levels in the bottle. I would have oh. never thought of yeah. that. Yeah. Shouts out to actually paying attention to class for once. But yeah, yeah. Sure. it's like, that's how my friend group is. So then when I tell them different friend groups that I'm over here with this friend group, they really get mad, like, ugh. Like, hey. you know the hood niggas who's like, they really got like, they call it attitude with me? Like a real, like a tuck. I said, I believe it. like I was in the room, I said, is y'all in y'all feelings? They said, yeah, I said. Y'all got those? Yeah. Look, I said, I'm like, y'all got those? They gave me the most stank. Speaking of friends, guys, do you guys have any white friends? I actually do. You got any white friends? I got a couple. And you know why we can't have white friends? Because my guy, MLK, Martin Luther King, did what he did. You know what I'm saying? He had a dream. He marched. What did he do? He got arrested. My boy got arrested. He marched. He spoke. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he went to a political office and spoke to people that we couldn't get access to. He had, he had dreams and aspirations and said things that people that look like us wouldn't even think to say because we didn't have the courage to, but he did what he did for us to be able to have white friends. I went to predominantly white high schools. We all have white friends. I'm thinking something else, but I'm part white. He is half white. He looked like he could be half white somewhere in his heritage. You know what's white. crazy? You know what's crazy? My auntie half Indian. Native American, sir. Native American. You're right. I apologize, sir. It's Native. We got Native American. I gotta be. We gotta be more politically correct. I'm. 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 I'm Hawaiian. All right. So. All right. All right. So listen. Can I say what I was gonna say? Go ahead. Can I say what I was gonna say? What? Yeah, that's, I, was I was gonna say that, but I didn't want to say it. But go ahead and say your thing. Can I say what I'm gonna say? So, so go ahead. First of all, I want y'all to see that we all just know I got on all black. You know why? I, I realize okay. that black lives matter. Oh, you know, yeah, black, my, black lives matter. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. Well, said be okay. <laughs> no, I was saying BMF, nigga. I was hood, nigga. Black lives matter. This nigga said BMF. Hey, BMF, be okay. I mean, be okay. okay. Black. Black Luther King. What I was trying to tell them. Be okay, lives matter. And how I was telling them before I started crying, I told them Martin Luther King was fucking on white women. Mind you, this is his <laughs> thoughts and opinions and him I voice had a his. Dream. Let me tell y'all. We're all he, little white and black. Coaches. How did he freestyle the white? They're getting one room together. How did he freestyle? And was called an orgy. How did he freestyle the white dream? Whoa! Nah, I had a dream. How did he freestyle this? <laughs> how did he freestyle <laughs> that dream? Bro? That I had a dream. Really? Really? That all the little coochies are gonna get together. All the coochies gonna come together for one coochie. Coochies for our ride gonna come together. My black brothers, my need black to experience this white coochie. Bless what coochie. happened. He said, my one, my black Come brothers. Brother, you gotta come see me. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know what happened? He got flew out. For yeah. a, he got flew out for a political event. Hey, and Martin then, Luther King was the first nigga to get flew out. And then, and then look, and then he got to his hotel room and he called her on a little, the, the little doctor in front like. <laughs> Martin Luther King <laughs> was the first nigga to get <laughs> flew out. And then he was like, yeah, brother, yeah, I'm here, baby. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm about to get some sleep. I'm right here, here, baby. You know he had the slacks on. Yeah, was like, like, them boys was like these, real still, tight. But I'm feeling kind of tired. He was like, all right, I'm, I'm about gonna to go to sleep. Call you tomorrow. And then he heard that knock. It was the doop, doop. And he opened the door, and then what happened to you in Vegas? They was what like, happened? Hello, 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 Mr. Martin. King. Courtesy, courtesy of uh, such and oh, such. Well, and he was like, white like women. And then you know what happened? Woman. They took that shirt, he was like, hey, my dreams are coming to He was like, 
Pink nipples. I had a dream. I seen pink nipples and it was looking real oh, fine. Jesus. Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus Christ! Oh Lord, I've never seen anything. I seen, I seen brown nipples. Far. I seen brown nipples. Why? I've never seen anything. I ain't never seen a pink nipple before in my life. That's what happened. And oh, then, and then he woke up. No, that's, that's, that, that's how he freestyled. I have a dream. Niggas don't even know if he was the first nigga freestyling. Man. He freestyled. Yo. I had a dream. He was Yo. the first freestyling nigga, Yo. bro. Stop playing. First of all, that, that was a fire freestyle. That was a fire freestyle. Second, Second of all, what? Second of he all, reincarnated himself as Young Dog. <laughs> <laughs> It's dope. It's dope. It's dope. It's dope. It's king. It's dope. Ain't he in South Memphis? Hey, 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 he floated up. He floated. Hey, look, he floated up there. God was like. Dang, Dang, Martin, what you doing up here? You know what? The nigga shot me. And look, he was Man. like, he was like, you know what? And what? Remember they that was a remember, fire version. They tried to shoot. They tried to shoot off a hundred times. That was a, that nigga <laughs> under the <laughs> look. That's a fire <laughs> version. That was a fire version. You just laid, Martin. How about I bring you back as a as a rapper? Oh no, what you bring me back? Speaking of rappers, shush. speaking of rappers, you know what? And then the boom dash. Remember when he came? He he woke up out that coma. Niggas are crazy. <laughs> 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 See, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> speaking of rap, speaking of rap culture, first of all, thank you, Martin Luther King. We making jokes. But, oh, yeah. Like hard, but all, we all, 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 all bullshit aside, though, we appreciate you. We appreciate you, Martin, for what he did. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Yeah, I'm mad I had to work on your holiday, but I do appreciate you. Yeah, we need to get that back to the shitty as hell. I really do feel like I appreciate you more than them just because if you probably didn't do that, I probably wouldn't be here because the Partially. white and the and the black would have never mixed. Like the the dark would have never mixed. Nah, you would have been hated. Nah, you would be here a little bit. A little bit. That nigga said a little bit. Nigga, nah. You would be here a little bit. Thank these niggas. That nigga said you would be here a little bit. They know I'm mixed with a lot. Nigga, I'm gonna just be. That's why I said I'm a little just, bit. I'm gonna just be 7% here, nigga. I'm gonna be half here. I'm gonna be like, what? Well, here a little bit in spirit. Nigga, they know so I'm mixed with a lot. So it's like, Martin Luther King had to do that so everybody can just have sex with everybody. Because I know them colored bathrooms were shitty as hell. Yeah, because if, like, cause if he didn't do I that. I wonder who cleaned them bitches. It would have never been all everybody just had sex with everybody, bro. Imagine trying to have a take a shit in them days. Uh, niggas, uh, niggas, styles were strong. They was marching, they was squatting in the bathroom. Niggas was not sitting on them toilets. No kizzy. Yeah. They just bringing their own toilet tissue. Yeah, yeah. our grandparents was Why you think? Why you think your grandma way. always got uh 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 what's the shit is called when you wipe your tears? The handkerchiefs. Handkerchiefs. Handkerchiefs and uh clean necks and necks and hey. No, why you think what's your auntie always got clean necks in her bag? What's the nah. farthest walk I ever took? Now that I think about that. Farthest walk. Hey, listen, as a young nigga, hey, that's a young nigga. I probably would never did. No, that. it wasn't no march, but it was a march. As a young nigga, I walked miles. I walked. I walked. Old park. Old park. The south field. Oak Park to Southfield? Like Oak Park, alright, so now I'm out Oak now I'm out Oak Park area. Mm-hmm. All the way. So you know where uh Alaska Chicken and Fish is, Lighthouse is, yeah, yeah. KFC, you know, C V S, all that shit right there. For people not in Michigan, nine mile is right next to eight miles. Yeah, we're the Lose Delhi area, and mm-hmm. I walked all the way from there. All the way to 12 Mile Telegraph. Ooh. Twelve mile of telegraph. At the twelve north. At six ninety six. At the twelve north. Mm-hmm. That's the suburbs. So you walk from the hood to the suburbs. I walked from Seven Mile and Wyoming to Eight Mile Beach. All right, so I didn't grow up in the city like these guys. I grew up in the suburbs, but I can tell you it was at least eight miles, uh, sixteen there and back. Now that I think about it, because uh, I was with my homie Marquan. He was sixteen, I was twelve, but we was rocking. No, I was thirteen at the time, but he was sixteen, so he in high school. I'm just getting into middle school and stuff like that. But it was some girls, and I, I was about, talking. I was just about to say, like, was he putting some coochie? Oh, yo, for, I didn't okay. get none, but I was with him, though. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so I was just I seen like somebody that. on Twitter talking about, I don't care how cute you is, a guy not driving 45 minutes for you. I, I said, drove, hey, look. I didn't drive hey, two hours. Nigga, I said, Tuh. I drove two hours 45 minutes for some coochie. If you don't I like had, driving, just say that. Like, 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 drive I didn't drove for some coochie before. What, nigga, what? I, I didn't know. I didn't have to drive for Who's not going to drive for some coochie? I think me and the cameraman back there have together taken trips. I know Two and a half have. hours. Yes. Yes. For that. I know y'all have. You know what? Nigga, I didn't took nigga a fucking six and a half hour drive. Nigga, I didn't took a trip. 
Just like, like Atlanta and shit. I don't know, but all that. I don't remember that story though. No, it was a no. It was a gang affiliate thing. It wasn't a gang bang. It was like nigga. Um, you know, you know, I be having a lot of weird missions. It was like nigga, I got six of my niggas. You got eighty of bitches. We don't know what type shit like that. Nigga, so I got they, six. They all with it. Be like shit. I'm we, we got two extra. We got two extra ones on the bench. Tag in. <laughs> to extra like, just in case they ain't with it. You feel me? Just in case you, you know, don't. You know, somebody gonna get left out. They they gonna be get nigga. That. That's that two bitch that get horny. Mm -hmm. Damn, I ain't got shows. Hey, come here, hop in here with us real quick. Right. You know what that sounds like though? A lituation. Mm -hmm. And you know who created a lot of lituations and a lot of situations? Who did, Mr. D? My boy ASAP Yams, man. Happy Yams Day. Happy, Happy Yams, Yams know Day. Who is, man. That's my little segment right here, cause you feel me? I'm a little, I'm an all world, you know what I'm saying? Affiliate. You did. Uh, my boy ASAP Yams, you feel me? It is the day that he, you know what I'm saying? Whoop de whoop. You dig? So I just want to say Happy Yams Day. Uh, 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 keep your drip Shout on you, yams. you know what I'm saying? Keep your cup on you if that's what you do. Pick the hand up real quick, cause Yams did that. I don't do that, but Yams did that. Keep your hand on you, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, yeah, yes, sir. So, so happy what, Yams I got you, day. Yams. Except Yams, he messed with uh, a lot of people that people wouldn't realize, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he he was with uh, Lil Uzi before Lil Uzi popped off. He was with Play, uh, Playboy Cardi before Playboy Cardi popped off. Obviously, everybody in the ASAP mob. Uh, he was messing with Payroll Giovanni before people really knew about him outside of Detroit. He was hip to him before beforehand. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of people in Atlanta. He did a lot of stuff. He brought a lot of stuff together. And a lot of the way that culture is today in rap, in certain parts of rap, I'll say, is because of the imprint that he left. And a lot of people, I was on Clubhouse earlier today, and a lot of people was just speaking very highly of the man, saying how he brought a lot of people together. Uh, he 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 was ahead of his time, you know what I'm saying? He was an innovator. He believed in a lot of people. He uplifted people. He made people feel comfortable in situations, this, this, and that. Just a real good dude, you know what I'm saying? And he brought a lot of the culture together, so I just came to say, happy Yams Day, you know what I'm happy saying? Happy Yams Day, for sure. And uh, yeah, happy man, just keep, just keep the culture alive, man. Get drippy, you know what I'm saying? If you got some coochie, throw it on, you feel me? If you got a cup, double it up, you dig? And if you got some hand, take a shot. I ain't gonna take a shot, but take a shot for me. So that is what it is, That's man. What it is. Happy Yams Day. Do I look like I put a you know I was Baby, you got a spell on me. And you telling me on me. Okay, you better. Hey, you know who remixed that song, though? You know who remixed that song? I'm coming. Little bitch wanna ride it. Little bitch gonna get on her body. Get right beside it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, this bitch make me feel erotic. Two of them in this rocket. <laughs> and the grandma related to the whiteness. Got ooh, you got rice. You a church girl? You like Christ? Hey, we sound like bro right now. I'm perk. I'm perk. Go to work. What? Go to work that. Hey, hey, hey. She wanna see me do my dance. See me thousand dollar pants. Don't distract me and my man. Oh, a lot of chops on your ass. Ma'am. Ooh, yes, sir. Y'all know exactly what we sound like. Y'all yeah. know who we sound like. We sound like that one man from Akron, Ohio, LeBron James. And if you don't know why we're talking like that. Oh, yeah. We're talking like that because you know what he was doing this weekend, you guys? He was on Instagram. And guess what he said? They want to see, see him do his dance. dance. What? Pants. Detroit, y'all. Yes, Detroit, y'all. We, we are here. This is our year, Detroit. We are here, y'all. And a lot of people, we that's not from here, probably don't understand what he's saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, LeBron James to be himself. listening to Sada Baby, who we've been listening to. That's on to. his playlist. That's his Apple Music. And since we've been listening to since what, 2015, 2016? 2015 for sure. Like, you know what I'm saying? For LeBron to be listening to him now and for Sada to be a nationally recognized artist with, with Did features with. Did y'all check commercial too for the Detroit Pistons? Like? Yeah. Hey. He on, he on, to you, he on commercials. He, he was on Billboard. He got uh, Nicki Minaj hopped on a remix for the song that we were just singing. So that's just a hype moment just for Detroit because our music scene is finally being nationally recognized just like Chicago's was just like you know Atlanta New York LA a lot of people got their little moments and stuff and, and now it feels like our moment and he's like the head of Detroit you know Rio is the head of Flint you know what I'm saying Sada's the head of Detroit and for people to be messing with both of them 
You know what I'm yeah, saying? That just that make us feel good because it make us as feel like our it. city yeah. something's happening. They want to come here for a reason to see something. Yeah, like, like, y'all want to come? Like, it. what? This yeah. is it. Yeah. It's about to be a vacation it, spot. So exactly, like, exactly. Like, and and our city is getting built up yeah, downtown. Right work downtown. He'll tell you. Downtown is amazing. Sweet, bro. And at that, we about to bring so much money into the community because, uh, they about to open up the sports betting online for yeah. it because right now yeah. you only can go inside the casino. Yeah. But in the next week they finna launch to where anybody can bet anywhere from their phones oh, anywhere. Yeah, you don't even gotta go there. Come here too. Your win is not gonna even grow. So that's what I'm saying. So much money about to be brought into the city. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, just as Detroiters, as Michiganders, you know what I'm saying, as people that grew up in Wayne County all together. Because if you in Wayne County, regardless, you are gonna be in the city of Detroit at one point or another. That just feel good for us. You know what I'm saying. Just to know that we've nationally recognized and people are appreciating appreciating in our culture because before it was just people knew about the buffs and they were just taking that and running with it but now people are actually messing with our artists you know what i'm saying once we get our sports team yeah. back together Ooh, it's lit it's over man but they ask because right? all our women called and all we got women call. and we got some good food yeah and yeah. the crud good we got a nice we got some nice skating we got, rings we, around we got, we got a nice we got some nice clubs we got a nice casinos, man, like, that's what i'm saying so we just need the when the sports team, the sports teams, I feel like is the like the solidified piece. That's in the middle. That's, that's the angel you know on top of saying? the Christmas tree. Yeah, yeah. that's it's a it's reason it. to come, like for real. Yeah. Like, why like, are you gonna come like if the Pistons ass? Why exactly, because people really only come into Detroit in the summertime, anyways. But like, if the Pistons good, or if the Lions good, or shit, even when the Red Wings was the damn Tigers, you know what I'm saying? the Tiger or something. Damn, y'all all, all can't suck at once, bro. Like, but once wow. we get. Something I just feel it's like it's up there and it's gonna be stuck there. And we got the races too. Stop playing. That's what I'm saying. Uh, the races and Sunday Funday is one thing about Detroit that a lot of people from that's not from here either heard about, seen, and didn't know what it is, or don't know about at all. Cause like we had a viral clip, we on the live. I was about to say like, we, we on the lives we with it. Shut down the we whole, went crazy. We, we on the lives with it. We shut down the whole freeway. Oh, and was then they was doing donuts because in Detroit, Hellcats, SRTs, all that, you know what I'm saying, Chargers is a yeah. big part of our culture. And then we did it, and then we seen people in Oakland doing it, and then I seen a video of people in Atlanta doing it, and I'm sure they probably did it in other places too, but it's just like, I just feel like 2021... We still get enough credit for what the fuck we do. I feel like everybody take, take our credit. everybody take our shit and then make their own stamp yeah, on it. Like, yeah, bro, you was talking about... They was talking about uh, it was talking about uh, how they was talking about how they was like we like lamb chops. Like no, lamb chops came from here. Bitch, y'all not doing that in Atlanta. Y'all yeah. just started. Y'all see? Yeah, like, no, they literally just started doing that. Y'all yeah. want seafood? Like, y'all can do the seafood for sure. Y'all, like, we had no, lamb chops. We had like, the lamb chops. Like, all of our strippers and strip clubs got lamb chops. Yeah, bro. Like, Don't we, take that away from our culture. Yeah, for sure. Y'all had strippers and seafood. We then y'all want to take not 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 New York trying to take Cartier. No, but 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 I'm, I'll put a Timberland on the stump. I feel like shit, son. It was the one thing that people do give us uh, credit for is Cartier's, even but though they yeah. say like they just throw it in their uh, Detroit whatever bucks, yeah. butter, you know what I'm saying? But like people, I feel like that's the one thing people actually know. But I feel yeah. like 2021 and from here on out, we gonna actually start getting the actual credit that we actually deserve for the culture to. that we're creating. We definitely need to. And and you know what has been going on in Detroit. Definitely need to get all the credit that we we deserve. Definitely. You know what else happens in Detroit? What else? Especially with us in the summertime. Mind you, I was just talking to somebody about this the other day. We've been friends for 2017. What is that? Four going on five years? No, that's going on four years. I'm tripping. We've been friends for like four years. And one of my homegirls said me the other day, she was like, yeah, y'all don't even seem like y'all friends. Y'all seem more like family. And I was like, well, yeah, because... I mean, we all really grew up together in our young adulthood, you know what I'm saying? So, like, when we on camera and stuff, like, we might have stuff that's funny to us that y'all not, might not really understand, but it's just, like, we all known each other for so long, we can make a look or a sound or something, and it just be funny, you know what I'm saying? Because we really, like, a family. We, like, brothers for real. We ain't just normal friends. Like, yeah. we, was, we grew up together in young adulthood. Like, we was all either 19, 20, 21, or 22, or 23 when we all met, and four years later, you know what I'm saying, we here. So, we really... Went through young adulthood together, and we all done went through drunkenness together. Which brings us to our next topic, fellas. Uh -huh. What is your favorite phase of drunkenness? Cause free bitch. <laughs> Suck the dick, when I, when I looked at myself in the mirror, I got to take a piss. I'm just playing. <laughs> 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 my piss was like, damn, you fucked up. <laughs> you didn't feel that. <laughs> <laughs> Cause you try to keep that straight face in the mirror, like mm -hmm. my favorite face. 
Yeah, I have two know. different favorite phases. My favorite phase now, older me, because like, it was two different Margos. Me now is not who I was two years ago. Me now is, shut up. Me now, I just enjoy when I get to the point to where I know I'm lit and I want to keep drinking because I know I just want to get to that point. Because like, now I like to chill, I, don't, I like to relax, I don't want to be over there, but once I get there, I want to go there. You know what I'm saying? Before I me, I loved once I got to the point to where I was soft and I would just say anything that I probably wouldn't say when I was sober and then I'd wake up the next day and then they'd be like, did you really mean what you said? And I'd be like, yeah, but I had no idea what I said. But I said that <laughs> but shit. I said that shit what did I say to Uh, yeah, no, I ain't gonna be, not, 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 not like that. I like, my favorite part is like, when I actually look at myself or I actually feel, when I feel it and I know it, like when I feel that tingle, I'm like, dang, bro, I'm drunk. Yeah. Or like, or like you take that last shot and like you can't, you can just, Pause, you didn't swallow it like you swallowed that let the other shot pause, you'd be like, you hold it in your mouth like. No, I don't like that. That's the part that I don't hold it. I gotta take that bitch down. I gotta take that bitch down. Yeah, that's I was like, like dang, I'm gonna throw up. But no, I got the no, off real quick. Me yeah. personally, and Bryce, is, Bryce can attest to this because he done, we have been outside the club with each other before and I tried to take a shot and threw up because I take it too fast. I gotta yeah. like mentally prepare myself. Shout out my boy, he the goat. He had to listen to for me before we walked in the club. You know what I'm saying? I definitely took that shot, tried to take it like a gangster, threw it straight up. He had to listen to for me and I went in the club and had a great night. Ha! Listen to Dirty mouth? That was right before the annex night, wasn't it? Uh, pretty sure you yeah. went liquor. Man, look. Oh, that was, that was, yeah, that man, that was that one birthday. Yeah, last time I went to the NX, I was fighting. I think that was, well, good. see, that's why we don't go out with K. You know what I'm saying? And when he come out with us, it's different than if we go out with him. So if we go out with him, we hit with his friends and his peoples, and he got, just like he said earlier, before he take offense to what I'm saying. I want anybody to take offense. All I was about to say was, they always safe, and they have a good time, so I don't know why they be complaining. Yeah, because it be the times that that don't happen, but it do be times that they do happen, and then they be they like, say eighty percent of the time, and then you disappear and some shit, and they be like, "Damn, where'd go? He left us." They always in good hands. <laughs> no, 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 come back. no, 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 no. Come back. This you know when you in good hands? Like Forty-five minutes. You know when you in good hands? hands? Yeah, we'll show you when you in good hands. Can I bring it in the camera? Only you. Can prevent source fire. That's, I put that's when you in good hands. I put him right in good hands right there. Yes, sir. That's the good hands. You know what I'm saying? You can't like, see his face, but you can see his hands. It's like, dog, what? They be yeah, sir, Skido. But I understand what you're talking about because I, I even get in the car and be like, this one, come on with y'all. Because y'all just don't know how to act. Y'all angry. And that's one thing. <laughs> hey, hey, but really, though, that's why a lot of people attract to towards us and like to like keep coming back around, keep coming back around us. Really? Because I always get the text afterwards, like, your friends so lit, y'all cool as hell, y'all just on, on a good vibe, y'all just having fun, y'all be dancing and this, this, and that, they ain't never no bullshit. <laughs> and other people, they don't be on that. Like, yeah. motherfuckers don't be going out and having fun and partying and dancing and, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? There's always something that send them home. There's always some bullshit at the you end. Know what I mean? Other people got home. different ways of we having fun. Yeah. That is true, and it just so happens that we've organically found a group of people and we all want to do the same thing. We don't want to fight, we don't want to argue, we don't want to do all that other shit. We would go somewhere and we would dance and get, we would go somewhere and we would dance and get drunk and be merry and make friends and all this and that. I do it all. And just go home. Just not them two. I fight and have fun, I do it all. I'll fight if I have to. I was just I was in a club fight. I was beating the shit out of some niggas. I was in a club fight too, and I only Sometimes. I only fought because my homie was getting stumped out, and I had to jump in. I'd have had to fuck multiple boys one time. I missed the other time. See, I was in the club in the in the car trying to I don't know what the fuck I was on. Great fun time. They said I was trying to get some head or something. Whoa, all right, all right, Sean. <laughs> getting getting some head. But now I left the club because I had left the club hey. early though. What y'all think would be our equivalent of throw babies? Huh? What you mean our equivalent? Like Chris our song. Look? Like our, what do you mean our? Like if our group this had This is another nasty song. No, but y'all don't know about that. Y'all too young for that. Yeah. Hey, girl, yeah. hey, that nigga's a little rude. Whoa. I'm gonna go with mean, the Whisper song. <sighs> yeah, definitely. The Whisper def song. Wait, do you see my, oh. <laughs> Wait, you see my, oh. Uh, Wait, you see my, uh, oh. Uh, I'm gonna uh, beat that uh, pussy uh, uh, up. On the floor. Like, and the floor wide open. She's so nice. She, 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 she called her the bit of ocean. Oh, hey. I got 18 wheel up. Oh, this earth behind her. This earth is she making. She's soaking wet. She making wood. She's soaking wet. Shake it like a song shaker. Shake it like a song shaker. Shake it like a song shaker. I'm riding. Say your word, girl, lady. Shake that ass, 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 shake that 
that shirt. Hey, 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 Team Willow. Hey, no, wait, 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 wait. Hey, I ain't gonna hold on. You know who Loki underrated in that era? Who? The power of Lil John. That's no, 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 no. He, the yeah, power he of Lil John. Because he bro. should be. Nigga, he got lovers he and friends, lovers nigga. And friends. Friends. He got lovers and so friends. Shaker. I'm saying, like, people like bro. Lil John and T Pain, they should be held on such a way higher. Like uh, Lil John, uh, 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 pedestal, girl, then they girl, all man. I don't give a fuck, bro. Girl, you can't. No, Lil John made that whole Baby, era. You that whole era, era for real. Y'all think they was drinking? Why would you pour liquor out of a bottle into a gas can? But that shit was crunk juice, juice, nigga. What it was crunk juice? Huh? Crunk juice by uh, Lil John. You said what? what? That was gonna get low. Wait, what? I agree. I agree. I got that. Hey, I'm fresh, so clean. Hey, it's your ass in me. Hey, fine. girl, then fine. I can't take her. I'm left time. Now, can I play with your bad line? I need to calm down. Security guards are sweating me now, nigga. Ooh. I'm afraid me now. Hey. I'm going to give another female twerk. Take her clothes off. Ooh, she naked. And then pop your pussy like, like this. We ain't twins in the bitch with titties. We don't ride the new side boy here. And we all like to see big old titties. Hey, bring us up over here, ho. Let me see you get low if you drink it to the floor. Hey, drink it to the floor, to the floor. If you wanna rap, honey, you can do that. Hey, bro, them niggas was on something different. It can't be what's in here. No, I swear to God. It can't be. I can't imagine what going to the club. Listen, like when they was hot, nigga. Imagine going to the club. That's not. That's why Nelly made it hot in here, nigga. It's hot in here. Imagine all of that ass shaking up. This can't. First of all, it was nasty, sweaty, all in the club. I would have loved that. I would have loved that. That's the I best that ever. Hey, we everybody, we all went to parties like nice. the best type of parties when you real sweaty and you yeah. your clothes still yeah. you come out that mud. The best you type like, of parties I had when I was in high school and I used to hear the Travis Porter. No, 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 the K uh, Stylist all no, back no, here. Travis Porter, no, nigga. And no, K Stylist, nigga. Off the nice little ass back there. Booty me, me down. Mm, booty me down. Booty me down. Booty me down. Shake some girl. Hey, shake some girl. Hey, shake some girl. Shake some girl. Or they, or they hear, oh, pretty boy beats. Do, 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 do. Keep that ass up, man. Hey, keep that ass up, man. Yeah. Keep that ass up, man. Trampoline booty. Hey, trampoline booty. Some on YouTube called Ass. Hey, bro, all this, I nigga, you know what my shit was? Shit. You know what my shit was? That Pinot Live one two, that two one five. Pinot Live two one five. Pinot Live two one five. The girls used to go crazy. Pinot Live two one five. Pinot Live two one five. Pinot Live used to hit. Man, my era. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, that's one thing on YouTube. Skip fucking down. Skip fucking down. Hey, no, 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 no. Who is this nigga B? Who is this nigga B? Who is this nigga B? That nigga. Remember when he was getting head? Fucking the thick bitch nigga. Like, oh shit, sorry. Hey, what is that? Hey, I'm about to bust.
grocery store in the aisle. No, she was. No, she was. She was like, shut up, shut up. She was like, hit the bitch. She was like, all right, Trina. Hey, bro, y'all about to make me go look up old Pino Live videos, bro. That shit used to be funny as Pino Live. That was hilarious. Oh, God. Yeah, shout out Pino Live to Man, it was a Philly hood fucking all them rap bitches off that shit. Oh, God. That nigga was turned up in the hood. The nigga who actually was the nigga behind the Muppet, bro, I know he was getting so much. That's the only reason he went down. That's that's got locked up for what? Was he like too live? No, nah, he was. He was on some real shit in the street. Oh, that nigga was really live. Yeah. Oh, the 215. He got sat down he for like, like, at that time, after that video, he got shot down for like two, 10 years. Damn. Damn. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, right after that, people put in a lot of shit when I hit. You know why? 215. Boom. 10 years. Hey, bro, can I get your royalties from that? <laughs> you gotta imagine, bro. He just stopped doing videos and you just never heard from him again. Yeah. Because he went to jail. Yeah, that, make, that makes sense. He never, that's what I'm saying. For 10 years, that's a long ass time. He's still in that bitch, I think. Speaking yeah. about niggas going to jail, Dog just got indicted. <laughs> that nigga, Ooh, what's what? in? <laughs> that nigga, Rachel Name might be looking for a new nigga at this point. You feel me? Hey, if you need another yeah. nigga, baby, I got you. What's your, what's your, she what's your, 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 Got it. Hey. Our own one that's is it called indicted when you just uh had to turn yourself in? And and you uh, did nah, your first court date? I mean he, he he didn't get indicted yet. Yeah, he just he just turned himself in, you know what I'm saying? Basically he was a driver, somebody else did something and he was just a casualty of war, it is what it is, that's how the streets go. Yeah, they had a warrant out for his arrest. Yeah, and if you live in that life, you live in that life. I was about to say I just want y'all to know. For anybody that wanna do the street shit, you are stuck in it forever. And it haunts you forever. My thing is, how long ago was this? I just like, want y'all to always doing know. This. It was, uh, I think they said it was in November. Why the fuck is he driving in Europe? Why is he and Lucci? I just want you to know. Why are you the driver? When you start this, yeah, when you start this street shit, also, I'm trying to be on you will get shit. into this shit. But you're you always in this shit. And you're stuck in this shit. You have to get out of shit in a body bag or behind prison. So but don't do this street shit, you guys. I don't know. You no matter how famous you get, you're stuck in this shit. Oh, and you can't snitch, cause if you snitch, you six nine. That's your ass. That's your ass. It's not you. Everybody not six nine. You're not gonna be safe like him. You're going to get killed. So yeah. don't snitch. If you don't want to go the to jail, need that nigga if you, you don't want to die, like little, don't do no street shit. Yeah. All right, now I got a question, cause we were just talking about street niggas and street shit. I was having a conversation in uh, one of the group chats with my homies earlier. And I brought up the fact that I know miserable millionaires. I actually know some millionaires that aren't that happy in life. You know what I'm saying? And my homies were saying, that's not possible for them not to be happy. And they got money. Money going to make you happy. Yeah, I actually know a millionaire that's not happy too. So I can I can confess so that. My, that's my mama's friend. They probably got little dicks and some shit like No. That. It's my mama's friend. He said he just wants somebody because he don't have kids. He live at home with his mama and shit. But he's like, he's really a millionaire. Like he got, yeah. like he worked, like he like a, a, a like a CEO mechanic and shit mm -hmm. up at the shit. Like he go over to Germany and shit. Okay. Like he has money. But like he yeah. said like, I just want a lady friend just to spend money with. He don't want to get married and shit like that. So he like, nigga, I got everything I want. I just can't find somebody to be a companion because everybody want to get married and have kids. And I don't want to do that. So he like, I'm just chilling because I that's what I got. But you know, he said like, I don't like everything I can I want I can get. So it's like I don't really care for stuff. So now he like, I'm bored basically like that because like, nigga, I can do what I want. And then so. What else I'm gonna do? And then well, he really just want a bitch. That he's that's really just what he want. You know he can't saying? find the right bitch that he wants because he made too much money and it ain't been like on his level. Yeah, dog got bread. I ain't gonna lie. But then again, on the other hand, I know a millionaire that got a family, wife, done did everything it is to do. Done went everywhere. Done bought everything, any and everything that a millionaire can do. Meet, go. They done did that, and they still not happy, you know what I'm saying, at this point. Yeah. And it just, it just is what it is. And I was trying to explain to my homies, because my homies was like, man, listen, when you got money, like, your problems go away, you know what I'm saying? And I was telling them, like, people be still be dealing with stuff emotionally, uh, emotional traumas, like, stuff in your head, you know what I'm saying? Like, even if you got money, 
if you got uh if you paranoid or if you feel like this this and that or if somebody act this way and they still act that way you know what i'm saying you still gonna feel that way still regardless okay turn off your brain no matter how much money you get your That's brain what still all to explain, bro. no matter how much money you get no matter how much weed you smoke no matter how much you drink your brain still gonna go so and that's another thing i said so too because they were saying like I, I got so much money i can just go somewhere and do something and do this and that and i won't have to think about it i'm like bro you can do all of that but that shit's still gonna be there after you go to dubai after you drink all the 1942 you want to you drink you can smoke the best weed you want to smoke you know what i'm saying like at the end of the day that that trauma is still gonna be there you know what i'm saying Definitely. so my whole thing of bringing this up was asking if you think money could make you happy but it can make me happy temporarily okay so yeah like like i was saying like i was thinking we all think on the same wavelength you know what i'm saying we don't think that it will make you happy but it can Temporarily, it will. Temporarily, yeah. It'll, it'll make it, it, it'll take, it'll your it, it'll take your mind over for a minute until it gets old. It'll make me happy because I know I never have a worry in the world, so that way I can worry about the stuff that I want for myself. Yeah. Like on a personal level, because right now I'd be worried about financial more. Yeah, I'd be worried about more financial stuff yeah. and like, taking care of other stuff, and why I need to worry about my personal stuff. Mm -hmm. So I feel like if I got money that I know I can access no matter what, no matter when, it'll take it give me a hundred percent effort. I can just focus on myself, like. My mental health, I can go do this. Like, if I want to shop, I can make myself feel handsome. I can do all this shit because everything else took care of. Yeah. So, I feel like it helped that way making me happy. But, like, as far as, like, the the, <laughs> the emotional well-being and, like, the healthy well-being, I, I don't think so. Because it's still, like, nigga, you still sad. So, it's like, I can still, like you said, I can still fly out of state to Japan or some junk and be like, oh, all this look beautiful. But it's beautiful to my eyes. It's not right. beautiful with somebody else. It's like I'm not experiencing it with nobody else. So it don't count. It depends. It's not you the, gotta it's find happiness. It's, it's not the same. Yeah. Like you can experience something, yeah. but experience something with somebody that feels special to you or somebody that's special to each other, it's like a different feeling that you experience for yourself. Yeah. It's not a true reaction, so it's like, ah, oh, I can talk yeah. to you about it. You can feel that with somebody. You can yeah. have talk to somebody. That could be a memory you got with some verses to you just out there with yourself, like, oh, yeah. Dang, it's it's cool. You try to explain that memory to somebody, mm -hmm. but they don't feel the way you feel because they didn't experience what you experienced. Yeah, that's why it's always good to have a companion, but you got to find that right companion. Definitely, mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah, and then moving on to our last point. Speaking of companionship, it's the end of January. Almost Valentine's Day. Almost Valentine's Day. That's where y'all better start saving Ooh. up, fellas. Fellas, about to start. I mean, I ain't got to save up because even though I always end up doing some Valentine's Day. But yeah, you definitely do. Yeah, yeah bro. Do. I've been the most single Valentine's Day is nigga every year. The every most single is my first hey. Valentine's Day is nigga, I know. I this is my really first bad. single Valentine's in the past four years. So This is my first yeah. unsingle Valentine's Day in the past four years. I broke up for like three weeks. Last Valentine's Day, they took somebody else out for Valentine's smart Day. Man, smart man, smart man, like I said, I'm loud, smart man. <laughs> 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 Yeah, no, but my whole point of bringing up, bringing up this topic was to give ladies, if you're watching to this point, and fellas, if you're watching to this point, you might want to clip this and send it to your homegirl, I mean, to your girl or your homegirl or whoever, you know what I'm saying, send them the timestamp. What is a good present or good presents for males for Valentine's Day? Because the widely spread conception is that Valentine's Day is just for the woman, which is not true. It's for both parties, you know what I'm saying? Yes, the woman is going to get more because just genuinely and generally, you know what I'm saying, the woman is supposed to be wine and dine and you're yeah. supposed to do this and this and that for them. But we like things too, just like you guys like presents, we like presents as well, you know what I'm saying? So if you appreciate us, we would appreciate that you got us a present. So if you do appreciate your man, you should probably listen to the segment and we're going to give you some tips. tips First tip, Bryce. All right, so... If you confused about anything, just go ahead, find out your man's size, and get Nike whatever. Nike socks, Nike underwear, Nike joggers, Nike shirts, Nike pants, Nike sweaters, anything Nike with the word on it that looks appealing, you go ahead and get that. Because I guarantee any nigga that had that in his closet before, and every nigga has had Nike before. So yes, it's sir. easily just to get something Nike. Throw, ethical, throw, throw some ethical draws in there too. Some ethical draws. Mm -hmm. Nike get, them some nice, get them some nice briefs. Nike socks. Uh, you said socks Nike. already? Yeah, you said Nike yep. everything. You okay. Yeah, Nike everything. Uh, uh, Come on. That's Nike too. Come yeah, on. Definitely gotta smell good. That's cologne. Nice. Don't get the bullshit off the book. I know niggas. Real niggas know what bullshit ass cologne's are perfume. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I know, I know when you didn't got it from the cologne man and when you got it from Aldo. I know the difference. Mm -hmm. Or Aldo Beauty. Mm -hmm. Or Aldo Beauty. I know exactly. So I know if yeah, it was sprayed. I know if it was sprayed on your wrist first or if it was sprayed on a stick first. I don't know. And and and. 
Yeah, hey, ladies, real. ladies, the reason why we say cologne, first of all, you like the way we smell regardless, you know what I'm saying? So if you want to steal our clothes, you want to smell like us or whatever, whatever, you know what I'm saying? You that's for you. Steal that Second of all, with that that's, scent on it. that's a, a thing that can last for a long time, a gift that can last for a and long third time. Third of all, we going out representing you. You don't want no stank ass. Man, to represent you look good. You want to go out and make your, and look good, feel man, like, yeah, you know, I look good. I got a boyfriend, though. I want to go out and be like, damn, you smell good? Like, thank you. Just my girl bought it. I smell good for my lady. Like, get your man some cologne. Make sure your man smells good. If you want to buy him cologne, buy him some smell good body wash. You can't go wrong with the body wash. You can't go wrong with some smell goods and some underwear and some something. Because they're really the best gifts. Because I, I got everything I need. I can buy whatever else. And I then need at the end of the day, remember this. This is your man. You know your man. Fact. That's buying right. shit you really need. And, real, and, and I'm going to give y'all perfect examples. I know these two niggas. These are my brothers. You get them a little bottle, even though it ain't gonna last for a long time, they're gonna appreciate that you bought the bottle instead of them buying the bottle. For real. You buy Dang. some weed, they're gonna appreciate mm. that you bought the weed mm. instead of them buying mm. some weed. Talk to me, bro. Pay for their tattoos. My mm. niggas like tattoos. Oh my you know God. what I'm saying? If, oh you, my God. if you know Talk me, to me. if you like know me, you know I like to dress. Buy me some sweet shit. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Buy him a hat. Buy, buy me a hat. Buy, buy me some shoes. Buy, Invest in my business. I was about to say, like, buy something for his business. Oh, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, you, you know you, him. Buy him some bullets. Huh? Please buy me some bullets. You buy him a, buy him an extra clip. Buy him an extended clip. Huh, man? It's extended really, clip with the bullets. It's Damn. really just paying attention to your man and man, knowing the things that he likes. I'd be bragging right. all day like this bitch did bought me some extended clip, bitch. I, yeah. I wish I could brag like that. What? You wanna see your man smile real yeah, big? You know, my girl, my girl, my girl did bought me My girl got, got me this. Hey yo, hey man, got me. Hey look, she got me this dig in. She got me together real quick. I ain't gonna stunt you, my brother. I'm not gonna lie. This my girl dig. What's my girl got me? She making herself real used to it. My girl dig. <laughs> my girl got me a dick. My girl <laughs> got me a <laughs> uh, Stand it. Ah, pop, pop, pop. Yeah. No, like my bitch got a 30. What well, my nigga? What are you going to say? My, yeah, bitch, my got bitch got a 30. 30. She, she, she got a dick on it. Was yeah. it a 30 or 40? I don't know. 30 would have got a 30 with a dick. She hit you with that shit. She hit you with that bitch too. Yeah, it's Sarsky. I don't know. Every time I get Valentine's Day time, bro, I'll be really like, damn. I ain't no lie. I ain't got a real. Dead single really hit, though. Even though I don't give a fuck. But you always got the most romantic shit. I know. That's why I be hitting, nigga. I'm like, fuck that shit. I'm about to do something. I got a real nice. I got a real nice. I'm talking about. I ain't gonna cap. I really do that too, though. I ain't gonna cap. I got a real nice Valentine's Day gift one time. Like, yeah, like I had, I, I walked in, it was like a basket. I, I cried, I ain't gonna lie. Cause it was like all my favorite shit. I said, I ain't never got, I ain't, I ain't never got, that's, that's, I said, bitch, you know I ain't me. never got a real birthday gift. I ain't never oh. got a real Valentine's Day gift. Yeah, I, I, I be the nigga tricking. I, I had to go. I had to one up. I had to go to the mall and buy some jewelry. I said, "Bitch, you ain't gonna make me cry." No, I never got a good. <laughs> I never got a good Valentine's Day. Gift. I never got a good Valentine's Day gift. Um, he never got a good. He Valentine's never got a good Valentine's Day gift. Yeah, I ain't never got. He nothing. never got a good Valentine's Day gift. Nothing that I like. This nigga ain't never got shit. He ain't, ain't never, got, never got a good Valentine's Day gift. I ain't That's never crazy. got shit ever. Valentine's oh, Day coming up, he ain't never got nothing oh, done February for him. 14th. I ain't never got nothing that I liked. That nigga ain't never got shit for real. That's bro. crazy. That's crazy. Anyways, though, what was you talking about? You ain't never got another Valentine's Day. Yeah, I ain't never got shit for Valentine's Day. For real, for but real. But no, no, I, uh, I haven't. But you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Hopefully in the future, you know what I'm saying? Me and my brothers, all four of us, you feel me? Even the one behind the camera that you can't see, we gonna get, uh, yes, good, sir. Good, good, yes, good hands, sir. Good Come hands. in here, good hands. Yes, yeah, sir. You good see hands. That's all you need to know that you're gonna be in. That's all you need to know. Yes, you're gonna be in all of that. Yes, sir. So if you, you want both you cheeks, in? if you want both cheeks fully covered. Oh. Hey, show him one more time for the game. Show him, show him one more time. The good hands. You Man. see that nigga hands cover my whole head. I, you I, see I, I it. Slide. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, that you shit see crazy. My nigga hands is larger than charge. You see it. People, you see it. We ain't got to explain. You see it. Yes, sir. I just want you to know that nigga open, open palm smack me. I'm shooting him. Cause his hands too big. Exactly. That's the type of nigga you really got to shoot. Like, you can't fight that nigga. That nigga yeah. knocking out back windows. Fuck you what you talking about. Him. <laughs> you gotta shoot, that, he the type of nigga. He the type of nigga. He the type of nigga that. He the type of nigga that. I'm lying about that one. He the type of nigga try to fight a wild animal. He a real. Like, like, no, I'm sure I'm not this. Hey, no, I'm sure I got this. this. Hell no, I no, got no, everybody run. I got it. Like, nigga, mm -hmm. it, it it can kill you. No, it ain't. Not me. I'm okay. It's Macho Man. I'm sorry, you Macho Man. Macho. Uh, macho Man Smurf. Oh man, Macho Man Smurf. Macho and with that being said, my boys, that's the end of the episode. This is the eighth.
episode. We close to hey. number 10, fella. It's the eighth episode hey, yeah, it's of the Hardestest Podcast. You did. You, know what it is. you can hit us up on all our social medias. It's down in the description below. It's my it's your boy D. It's my boy Bryce. It's my boy K. Tattoo man. Double cut man. Man with nothing interesting, man. Good hands, man. Good hands. Yes, man. We out of here, man. It's the hardest, is man. Hey, man, say man. Say man. man. We ain't come to say play, man. man. Hey, man, say man. Say man. Whoop that trip, man. It's trippy, man. I'm Terrence Howard, man. My hat to the side, man. You see his tattoo, oh, man? I know you, you see tattoo, tattoo, man. You see, you see tattoo, man. This is right. this what y'all. This was just behind the scene, man. It's okay, man. Y'all see his tattoo? Look at his tattoo, man. I'm cutting this out, bitch. I ain't getting no close up this episode. Uh -huh. Look at his tattoo, man. He mad. He mad because he ain't here. Y'all see the tattoo? Wow. Nah, I ain't mad What's at up? all, oh. nigga. I control this Ooh. shit. What are you talking about? Ah. What are you talking about? Ah. You ever seen a nigga that? Ah. <laughs> oh. I'm the editor, bitch. Oh. I control all oh, this shit look like. You see how he back there talking shit? No, it's going to be hella okay. music over this. You ain't going to hear nothing you say, stupid. Yeah, hater. Hey, 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 hey. Read my lips. I thought I was gonna get in the video, stupid ass nigga. What's wrong with you? We got enough walk right here to start a pharmacist. They say the shit I dropped at E-Crib was the hardest.